So why is everyone moving to Kitchener-Waterloo? From our tech hub to some of the best schools in Ontario, Kitchener-Waterloo has it all. Having lived here for over 20 years myself, here are the 15 top reasons why I found most people relocate. And trust me, some of these are going to surprise you. So let's dive in. So with us, we have our handy bowl full of 15 reasons as to why Kitchener-Waterloo is such a great area to live in. And George, why don't you start us off taking the first one? Okay, the pressure's on. I hope I pick one that I know what to say something about. All right, festivals and events. Uh, we have lots of different festival events that happen. The region puts money into these programs to make sure that there are family-friendly events happening all year round. Um, some of the biggest ones that I can think of would, well, this one's I guess is not so much family-friendly, but the Oktoberfest. We have the biggest yeah. Oktoberfest outside of Germany. Uh, we have things like Blues Fest and Jazz Fest. Uh, that happen uptown Waterloo, downtown Kitchener. Yeah, uh, the Buskers Carnival also yeah. comes every summer. Mm -hmm. uh, that that is family fun. Yeah, <laughs> lots of uh, lots of exciting stuff that you can do there. Uh, we have the Lumen Light Show as well that comes to uptown Waterloo once a year, and they put on all sorts of fancy light shows and art exhibits that you can check out. And the best part is most of these things are free, so you can just come with your family, with your friends, and enjoy everything that the region has to offer. Yeah, that's one of the things I really love about living here is how much the region invests into putting these events on for the community to have things to do and get together in a safe manner, and that's fun for all ages. Okay, Vince, go ahead and get that second one here. What hey. do we have? Improved public transportation. So this is one of the great aspects about Kitchener-Waterloo. We have a great public transportation system. The Grand River Transit, better known as GRT, has all of those public buses that, you know, for years and years have been connecting the community. But an even bigger deal is the light rail transit or the LRT, which is something that was created just a few years ago. And it's really enhanced the traveling in the city. It connects people from um, one side of the town to the other and it's really something that's become very popular every time I see it going by I see it full of passengers so you can tell that a lot of people are finding a lot of benefit with it absolutely most people that I talk to really do find a great benefit from it they love it it's made their lives easier it runs quite frequently every 10 to 15 minutes especially during the rush hours. And the nice part is that unlike in Toronto where the streetcars are on the same lanes as the cars and they get stuck in that rush hour traffic here, they have their own dedicated lanes. So they're always running on time. But the one drawback some people, some people complain about is, you know, having to wait for it to cross the street at times. Sometimes you're rushing to work and the light turns red, the railings come down and here comes the LRT, you gotta wait for it. Yeah, I'm, but it takes like, 30 seconds, maybe a minute for it to pass. It's yeah. really not that big of a deal. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, it's just very efficient. The whole public transit system is very efficient at connecting to key destinations such as the universities, the college, and the big shopping malls and taking you through the heart of both of the cities. Number three. All right, what do we have here? What will we be talking about? Quality health care. Yes, this is something that the region is very well known for. And one of the reasons a lot of people relocate here, especially older folks, is the two major hospitals that we have. We have St. Mary's General Hospital in Kitchener, and this is our cardiac center. So it's a really, really good hospital for anybody that has heart issues, even things like heart attacks. I know our family has had some people have to deal with that. And the level of care and service that they provided for us was just top notch I couldn't be more thankful and even clients that I talk to older folks always talk about how happy they are to have St. Mary's Hospital here yep and then we do also have the Grand River Hospital and that's another hospital there uh, it's very well connected with St. Mary's they work in conjunction very well they communicate very properly and we've actually had a lot of clients that seek housing close to those hospitals and that's one thing that's nice is that there is an abundance of neighborhoods that are very close to those hospitals so it can get you connected 
And an additional bonus is that there's actually a third hospital that's being built in Waterloo. So soon our region will have three amazing hospitals that our residents are able to access. Draw number four. Let's see what we've got. Strong job market. So yeah. Kitchener Waterloo is definitely known for its strong job market. There is a host of different things that you can do. Our tech industry especially is booming. We're known as, as the Silicon Valley of the North. Google has one of their headquarters in Kitchener and the tech industry is really rising. On top of that, we also have insurance jobs. We have a strong automotive field and we have lots and lots of people moving to this region, specifically seeking out jobs because of that strong job economy. Yeah, in addition to those, um, we also have a lot of teachers. There's a lot of great schools here. So there's a lot of teachers and professors because of the two universities and the college. And to our previous point of having two great hospitals here, uh, we have a lot of people working in healthcare, a lot of nurses and doctors that move to this region. So one of the things that makes it so awesome is how diverse this economy is. Um, it makes it very resistant to um, economic impact. So if one industry is struggling, the whole city doesn't just fall apart. Okay, let's see what we have next here in our bowl of reasons to move. Family friendly environment. Absolutely, I would say Kitchener Waterloo is a great family friendly environment um, from having really good schools uh, to post secondary education, um, as well as neighborhoods that are really built for families. They're quiet, they're safe. Um, there's lots of different activities for kids to partake in. Yeah, a lot of neighborhoods in KW have very low crime rates. It's a very safe and a lot of families seek out these areas. And while 95%, if not 99% of the community is extremely safe, of course, as with any city, there are some pockets, some areas, some streets that you want to steer clear of. And in order to be able to do that, you need to talk to somebody that knows what's going on. So if you are considering a move here and you're not too familiar with the area, feel free to reach out to us. Our number is on the screen and we'd be more than happy to help you out, draw up a map and show you exactly where you want to avoid and show you some of those popular areas that a lot of people are choosing. Yeah, what we like to do with a lot of people that are relocating here is, you know, we get on a Zoom call with them, we pull up the map of Kitchener Waterloo, and we go through the different areas. They tell us two, three, four things that are really important to them about the neighborhood that they want to live in, and then we start pinpointing which neighborhoods they should be searching in, as well as the ones they should absolutely be avoiding. Okay, number six. We have Excellent educational institutions. So that is really on target with what we've just been talking about, but it really is a strong hub for education. Lots of families move to this region because of the strong schools that we have from elementary to high school to even post-secondary with the two universities we have in the region, Waterloo University and the Wilfrid Laurier University. And we also have Conestoga College. So there's really a whole host of options for students once they finish high school and those elementary schools as well. There's lots of French programs and advanced programs for students to really capitalize on their education. Of course, and elementary schools are a big factor that I found for families when they're picking a neighborhood. Uh, they really want to make sure that their kids are going to a good elementary school. And there's a lot of different ones to choose from. So there's many neighborhoods you can pick from when you're picking a school. But there's a handful that just sit at the top of the list, um, not just locally, but within the province. Places like Laurelwood Public School and Abraham Herb, just to name a couple. But if that's something that is important to you, we can guide you in the right direction for which school to pick for your little ones. Number eight coming up. Oh, what's it gonna be? This is number seven. Oh, number seven, I'm sorry, yeah. Number seven, innovation and entrepreneurship. So this goes in line with um, the strong job sector we have here, the tech sector that we have here. And education. And education and the universities that we have here kind of uh, producing this talent. The region really is helpful towards uh, people that are 
of an entrepreneurial spirit and really have that innovation and technology drive in their businesses. There's a lot of programs that offer support um, as well as programs that connect people with funding. Community Tech, for one, yeah. uh, really helps startups get going and find funding. But there's a whole different assortment of places where you can get funding, support, and mentorship to get your business off the ground. Now we're on number eight. Now we're on number eight. Numero ocho. Here we go. I was gonna take that one. <laughs> Green spaces and outdoor activities. Mm. That's right, Kitchener Waterloo has lots of parks and green spaces around. Nature lovers, they also enjoy Kitchener Waterloo so much. There's the Huron Natural Area. That's one that I've personally explored quite a bit. I've gone for hikes, I've gone for runs, I've maybe seen every inch of that forest, but it is really, really nice. I've spent countless hours there, um, and you can too. There's really so much to explore. Yeah, lots of different parks as well. We have Waterloo Park and Victoria Park, which are two big parks in the heart of both cities that are great for walking. They have playgrounds for kids. Um, there's also McLennan Park, uh, as we used to call it, Mount Trashmore. So when we grew up here, uh, McLennan Park has been transformed since then, but it was originally actually a dump site for garbage. And over time, it got turned into a park. For a while, it was kind of like a semi-illegal place to go <laughs> sledding in the yeah, winter. It was kind of dangerous. Uh, but now they've completely transformed it with like a dog park and a playground and skate beach park. park. Skate park, yeah. that's right. Beach volleyball. And you can go sledding in the summer now. Sledding in the summer now. But it's actually safe yeah. because they've set everything up properly. So it's a really awesome place to check out. And one of my personal favorites, something that I like to try and do every single year here is canoeing the Grand. So we have the Grand River that runs around Kitchener Waterloo. And there's a couple of different places where you can go to actually rent canoes for the day. And then you canoe down the Grand, you bring some picnic stuff, uh, maybe some beverages, <laughs> and uh, you just have a fun day of it. That's something that I actually haven't done yet. Yeah. I definitely want to try it out, so that would be that would be a lot of fun. And also about McLennan Park, yeah, I remember almost going through a fence once or twice as a kid <laughs> yeah. going down those hills. But yeah. um, no, they definitely transformed that into a place where you could spend all day there with all kinds of other activities. Yeah, so all that just to say, Kitcher Waterloo has great outdoor space. So much to explore. Nine, here we go. Ooh, this one looks like the biggest one, so I'm gonna. Affordable cost of living. Now, this is a bit of a hot topic. Uh, I don't know that living is really affordable <laughs> anywhere anywhere right now in the world with the situation. But when you compare it to bigger places like Vancouver, Toronto, uh, any big cities around the world, um, it is a lot more affordable to live here in Kitchener-Waterloo. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we're still a city, but not a major city like that. So we have a ton of options for things for people to do, but definitely that cost of living is a lot lower. Rent is, is more affordable. Mm -hmm. Housing prices are 20, 30% cheaper than Toronto. We have a whole video breaking down exactly the cost of living in Kitchener-Waterloo compared to the GTA. But for just one example, you could get a detached house for the price that you're paying for a townhouse, sometimes a condo in Toronto. So for those families that value having a yard and a separate space for themselves, this could be a very good option. And yeah, and it is for a lot of people. One of the main reasons people relocate here from the bigger cities is that cost of living. They can actually afford to buy a house. Number 10, Number 10. two thirds of the way there. Central location. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> so the central location, you know that they say Toronto is an hour away from Toronto? Yeah. Well, so is Kitchener-Waterloo. <laughs> no, you're seriously, you're very close to Toronto. You're just a couple of hours from Niagara Falls. You're even just a couple of hours from crossing the border into the state, into Buffalo or into Michigan. So you have a central location here in Kitchener-Waterloo connects you to a lot of the bigger cities around us. Absolutely, and what makes it so convenient is our location and proximity to the 401. 
It's very easy access to the 401, which connects you to pretty much anywhere that you need to go within Ontario. And a lot of folks that don't work full time in the office choose Kitchener Waterloo because of that central location. They can commute to the office easily. Um, you can go on trips easily, you can get to the States easily. It's a really good location within the province. All right, I'm gonna keep my trend of picking the ones that are cut bigger. Sure, I don't know why, but I'm drawn to it. And see here, thriving tech hub. We're back to the tech again, uh, but it is a reason that people relocate here, especially for jobs. I've had people from as far as California come here for jobs, looking for housing, but really all over the province, it brings people in. We're home with the BlackBerry. As Vince mentioned, we have the Google headquarters here. And that's just to mention, you know, a couple of the big ones. Aside from that, there is a ton of smaller tech companies. So a lot of software engineers living here in Kitchener-Waterloo and relocating here for those jobs. Yeah, and it makes sense. It ties into the education with the University of Waterloo producing a lot of these software engineers, having one of the best engineering programs in the world. We also have a lot of startup companies that really want to grow here because as you mentioned earlier, we have companies like Communitech that really help them grow and achieve the goals that they're looking for. So tech is a really big focus and a forward thinking mindset, which is really good for the future of our city as well. Absolutely, it draws in a lot of that world-class talent and a lot of these people that are coming um, typically, you know, software engineers have high salaries, so they're spending within the economy, which is helping the region grow. Okay, number 12, I'm gonna steal one of your big boys. All right. <laughs> Vibrant culinary scene. Vibrant culinary scene. This is something you've touched on. You mentioned your friends have a debate about this. Oh yeah, 100%. So there's an internal debate within my friend group where we are kind of split. Some of us think that Toronto, because it just has so many options, it has, you know, a great culinary scene and, you know, it's very multicultural and everything. But a lot of us think that Kitchen Waterloo actually tops the culinary scene compared to Toronto because although there might be less options, the quality we find is a lot better and we have also a lot a big multicultural scene here as well there's a lot of asian inspired food indian cuisine and then also mediterranean so there's so much to choose from and honestly if you just walk up and down uptown waterloo on king street you could spend probably a couple of weeks checking out each of those different restaurants yeah absolutely i mean me personally uh, i love Asian food, uh, sushi I love, and there's a couple of great sushi spots here, but also one of my favorites is Indian food. I love eating Indian food, and there's such a big variety of it here. Like a lot of my Indian clients that I talk to, my favorite thing to ask them is, hey, what's your favorite Indian restaurant in Kitchener Waterloo? And then you try them out, and they're all these authentic cuisines that you get to explore living here. Lucky number 13. Mm -hmm. Ooh, which one should I pick? I'm gonna go with this one. Access to fresh local produce. So here in Kitchener, Waterloo, in the Waterloo region, we have two big farmer's markets. Uh, one of them is in downtown Kitchener, the downtown Kitchener farmer's market where local uh, farmers come and have all their produce out. But the biggest one that draws people in from all around the region is the St. Jacob's farmer's market. Yeah, and not just within the region, but even outside of the region. We have lots of farmers coming to the St. Jacob's Farmers Market year round. It runs Thursdays and Saturdays, and in the summers, it's also on Tuesdays. So three days a week, you can come get fresh local produce, fruits, vegetables, meats, cheeses. There's also arts and crafts over there, and there's always events going on too. It really is a big draw. Just make sure you show up early because parking does fill up and it's surprising because it's a big parking lot. So, I mean, if you haven't checked it out yet, you have to go and check it out and give it a try. Absolutely, like you might not think that it's such a big deal to have that fresh local produce, but it just tastes so much better. The fruits and the vegetables from the farmer's market, you can tell the difference when you're having them with your meal. Like It's just delicious. Yeah, no, sorry to interrupt, but definitely the taste is better. And also you can walk out with like a big bag of groceries for like 20 bucks. It's yeah. also very affordable. Second last draw. What do we have? Excellent sports and recreation facilities. This one also hits home for George and myself growing up playing basketball and a different variety of sports. We were able to 
really experience all of those sports and recreation facilities that the region has. Our personal favorite would have to be Rim Park. Rim Park, exactly. That facility itself, again, we were on the basketball courts a lot, but it has indoor soccer, it has volleyball, it has an ice rink, so it really has so many different things that you can do there. Outdoor too, there's soccer fields, there's a running and biking track, so you can really explore. Just Rim Park itself has a lot to offer, but there's a whole host of other sports facilities as well. Yeah, there's the Activa Sports Complex, there's that new one uh, in the Huron neighborhood. Schlegel. Schlegel, yeah, it's Schlegel. <laughs> um, it, there's really a lot of different sports facilities. It's great for kids' activities. We have a lot of rep teams, like Vince played a lot of rep basketball, hockey, soccer. It's all available for the kids. But in addition to that, for us, older people that used to play sports, that still want to play sports, the Waterloo region puts on adult leagues. There's co-op leagues, there's men's, there's women's leagues. We personally play in an adult basketball league, but I know a lot of friends that played baseball and soccer in these adult leagues, which is awesome because you get to relive those childhood memories and there's not a shortage of options here. Last one, number 15, there's not much to pick from. I actually don't know what this is, even though we put the list together. Arts and culture. So in addition to the sports facilities, we have our arts and culture. The region is known, you know, we have the museum downtown, but they put on a lot of different arts festivals. We have the Kafka Biennial, which is a lot of outdoor installation that happens every other year. And in addition to the visual arts, uh, there's also a vibrant music scene here in Kitchener, Waterloo. There's a lot of cool underground shows that happen. If you're in the know, a lot of indie bands. And then we work our way up to things like the Jazz Room, which brings in some big names. And finally, the big music festivals that we have, which are the Blues Fest and the Jazz Fest. And if you wanna keep learning more about living in Kitchener, Waterloo, check out our video on the top 10 places to visit.